What's up everybody, Tech King Mike back with another video. And yes, you guys, today we're gonna to talk about a standing cover with pin for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now this is one of the cases that I got along with my pre-order for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this thing on and check it out. I've been watching a couple of videos about it, saw some good things. So I'm curious to see how this case is gonna work out. Now, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. One thing that a lot of people dislike about the Z Fold 4 is that the S Pen cover is not uh, the S Pen is not built into the device. Now, first and foremost, as you can see inside of the box, we just got a few books and things. We're going to put the packaging over there to the side. Just gives you a little bit of the instructions on how to apply it. We're good on that. Inside of this box here is going to be our S Pen. So we're going ahead and pull this out. And this is actually going to be the actual S Pen inside of this cover. So it's actually really unique what Samsung has done here. They've actually added a piece of the case that basically allows you to have the pen on board with you at all times, but is a very is very convenient to actually have. Now, they can't put the pen inside, but they can put it on the back of the case. So we're actually gonna test this out and see how it works. Now, of course, along with the case, as we see in this box here, this is really just a little packaging insert, so we can get rid of that. We do have some replacement S Pen tips. These used to come uh, frequently with the Note devices in the past. They did not, not come with the S22 Ultra, uh, I don't believe, but it is what it is. Now, with these cases for the Fold, one thing you have to remember is that the front case is one that's going to have adhesive on it, while the back case is going to pretty much be one that can just clip onto the phone. So I don't mind using this with the phone. I One of those people that really just doesn't think it's a big deal that the, the case uses you know, uh, any kind of uh, uh, adhesive. I actually think it's just kind of, you know, if it's what's necessary, it's what's necessary. So let's go on ahead and let's uh, get the phone opened up here and put the case on. Now I am rocking my speaking screen protector. Video will be dropping on that soon on the channel. So make sure you guys are staying tuned and also stay tuned for my review of the Z Fold 4 after about a week or so of using it. So we put the back cover on and immediately, as we can tell, the camera is a little recessed in there, so that's pretty good. That means you'll get some protection from the camera, but it's not too deeply recessed in there. Also, this part that's right here is a kickstand. So when you actually flip this out, you'll get a kickstand feature on the phone. So you can actually kind of like, you know, watch the content with it if you want to. You can slap it closed, and if you want to, you can just pop it off. And then you can basically grab the S Pen here and just slap it on. And now you have the full S Pen on the back and yeah, it's pretty cool so far. I'm gonna take the S Pen off for right now just because I don't feel like I'm going to use it right away. It's one of the reasons why I'm comfortable getting rid of my uh, S22 Ultra for this case because I just don't think I'm going to use the S Pen like that. Now, let's go ahead and apply the front, the front part up here. So what we'll do is we'll take this first set of stickers off. We'll take this second set of stickers off. We'll take that little baby sticker there and that little baby sticker there. And then what we'll do is get that off my finger. We'll just take this here and just go on ahead and pop it right on. And then what I'm going to do is just because I like to make sure that I always give things the proper seal that they deserve, I'm going to just kind of run my finger along the side here, kind of in these areas where I know the adhesive is you know, where the adhesive is working on the case. Just kind of run my fingers along and just to make sure that I get a good fit and a good feel on the case. I want to make sure that I have no issues with it at all. One thing I do know right now that is annoying is this is a little wobbly. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is a little wobbly and it is kind of annoying, but I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have this part that goes in and out. It's not as bad on this one, but it is what it is. Uh, I do notice that the back case does, sh the back part does shift a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is shifting a little bit, but it does seem to be a somewhat good case. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Now, no issue opening the case up. As you can see, lines up pretty well with the phone itself. So no issue there. We'll go ahead and close it up. Still no issue. I like Samsung's uh, standard OEM cases because they actually allow the fold to close all the way. Some cases they have clips and they try to, you know, they give you a little gap. So when you close the phone, it's not closed all the way. It's like this. It's kind of like a little gap in between. Some people don't mind it personally. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I'm not really a big fan of it. But yeah, this is the Galaxy Z Fold 4 standing cover with pin. If we take this part out here, we'll see we have the S Pen with the case. 
And that is a snug, snug fit back there. So as you can see, we can open this up and we can just, so we've got access to the S Pen there. As you guys can see, I was looking at some other screen protectors to compare to the Spigen, because I do like the Spigen screen protector, but I don't like that it doesn't cover the entire front of the display. I would like to maybe try the Whitestone Dome if I can. But as you can see, we've got our S Pen on the inside and immediately using the S Pen on the inside, it's nice to have, but it just doesn't feel like it's one of those things that I have to have with the fold. So I probably won't be using that insert. I probably will just stick with using the stand over here, which let's test this out and see how this looks on it. So again, I don't like, I don't like that every time I push this thing in, I can feel the case moving. It just feels like the case is not secure to the phone, but I don't know, man. Maybe that's just the way it's designed. I'm not really feeling it too much when it comes to this back part. The front part is already pretty solid. It feels pretty good, but this back part just doesn't feel too solid. But in the meantime, let's check out how the kickstand looks. Let's wipe all this mess out of the way. And this is going to be what the kickstand looks like. So the kickstand looks pretty cool, as you guys can see. It actually looks pretty nice. So let me go ahead and unlock my phone here so we can see. And I'll turn on auto rotation for us. And I know the screen doesn't rotate unless you send in the, uh, you do it in the settings, but still pretty dope. And as you can see, I can even do it from here if I want to. So it's not a bad case. Overall, I'd probably give this like a seven out of 10 uh, at the most. I wouldn't definitely give it anything higher than that because like I said, this back piece is just a little bit too wobbly for my taste. But for the most part, it's something that I can get behind and it's a protective case for the phone that doesn't add too much bulk. So I'm not really too mad about it. I think it's gonna work out just fine. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one, guys. Like I said, this is the Galaxy Z Fold 4 standing cover with pen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Z Fold 4 content. It's your man, Tech King Mike, and I am out. Peace.